What animal's best at hitting a baseball? A bat. <laughs> it's draw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. I'm Mr. Mayberry and this is Baseball Week on Draw Time. So we're going to be drawing things that have to do with baseball. Now remember, when you draw, you can use any kind of paper you like. I like to use copy paper. And remember, you can use any size or type pencil. Now today we're going to be drawing a picture of a baseball bat. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, there are two basic kinds of bats, baseball bats. There's a uh, wood bat and aluminum bat. And I'm going to be showing you how to draw a wooden bat today. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, with a ruler. Now, I, I don't always use a ruler, but in this case, I think it's, it's a very helpful thing to do. I'm going to start off with a, uh, the ruler angled from the bottom left to upper right. And what I'm doing here is I'm marking where the center of the bat is going to be. Um, the bat itself is symmetrical, so half of it one side is kind of a mirror image of the other side and this will help me to get everything in the right place and that's why I'm starting off with this line. Now down at the bottom where the grip or the handle is down here I'm going to make an oval and I'm going to try to center that oval on this line and it is this is a perpendicular line you have a straight up and down and then one that goes across kind of like a T um, now, once I have it figured out where the, the handle or the end of the bat is going to be here, I'm going to uh, figure out where the other end is and make a curve. And again, I want half of it on one side of this line and the other half on the other side of the line. So this is going to be down at the very end where you hit the ball, that end of the bat. Now, um, before we go and, and do the, the actual bat itself, we're going to do because of the way this is turned we need another oval right here it's part of the bigger oval it's just small right here and what that does that gives us um, the part of the bat where there's some width here on the the end okay um, now I'm going to take and draw the top portion by starting up not a little bit lower than the end here and I'm going to curve down to where the grip is and then it's slowly going to slope up away from the center until it reaches the outside so it reaches this end down here okay and then I'm going to start on the other below the line and do the other half of the bat and I'm going to try to match what I have here just kind of it's opposite um, instead of going down I'm going up so where I go I just do I just do the opposite but I try to get the widths about about the same as what I have up above. Now this may take some practice. This, um, I did do a practice one earlier. But to get that right it may take, you may have to work with your line a little bit and of course you'll need to erase and clean up when, you, when you're done. Um, this, is, this is the basic shape of the bat. Then I'm going to go back and clean up the center don't need this line anymore and then I can add details now what you add in details uh, you might find by studying your bat it's a lot it's good when you draw things to kind of look things look over what you're going to draw to study it um, artists a lot of times are good observers they're able to see what's what's there and they they take notice of what's there and then they're able to put that down on paper and so that's what we're trying to do uh, with our drawings this week I want you to take time and look at what you're drawing and then go back and you can add details. Now if you have a bat at home this will be easier. If you don't of course you, you might be a harder thing to do. You might be able to find a, a picture of a bat on the internet. Um, but uh, what you want to do is look at look at your bat. Now my bat does not have a grip on it. It's just a wooden bat. But I, what you could do if you want, if you have a grip on your bat it'll look something like this. It'll be a curve right about there this this is or where it's taped been taped um, and then you'll have where the tape spirals around the side so you might draw something like that you can also if it's a wooden bat you can add the wood grain some of the bats have markings on them that tell what brand they are you can do those as well 
and any kind of details that you add will help enhance the overall look of the bat and make it look more like a real one. So here is our drawing for today, a baseball bat. Well each day after we're done drawing, I like to take what we've learned and show you how you can add that to a larger picture. So let's take time and see how our big picture is starting off this week. Okay, for our big picture this week, we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be doing what's called a still life. And a still life is when you take objects and you set them up to draw. Now you can set them up in front of you on a table and uh, draw from in that way. Or you can also do what I did and take a photograph of the objects and then have the photograph in front of you to draw. And so what we're going to be doing, each day we're going to be doing a different object that is related to baseball. And then I'll be adding that, looking at the uh, photograph and then putting it into place in our big picture. So this is the bat that we've drawn today. And so that's our big picture for today. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper.